Where'd you meet Claire? New York. Was it love at first sight? For her. Oh, you're a vain man, Guess Morgan. What about you and Peter? Um, protest march in Washington. I was a photographer for the Maryland Sun. Uh, make love, not war, that stuff. He's the first man I ever slept with. You're the second. How many have you had? Well, there's no right answer to that question. You know that? Unless you want me to lie. No, I don't believe in lying. Ever? It's one of the first promises that Peter and I made to each other. No matter what happened, we'd always tell the truth. Are you telling me that he knows about us? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not ever. This is ours. Feast day of Alfred the Great. It's also the birthday of Domenico Scarlatti and Joseph A. Hansom, the inventor of the taxi cab. Hmm, I can't remember that. Why are you even listening? I hate hot cereal. Put some syrup on it. Good morning. We're out of syrup. Yes, honey. Oh, I hate honey. Did you finish your application for the Fulbright Scholarship? Don't nag. I don't want to go to England. Oh, we're not going to England. There are over 500 applicants for England. The television's still broken. When are we going to get it fixed? Who was on the phone? Uh, my mother. Oh. so I didn't mend the fence. I put up the storm window. I'll get around to it. Good. That's what you said last spring about spraying the, the orchard and Japanese beetles opened up a sushi restaurant in my apple trees. This house is an albatross. Who wanted a hundred-year-old farmhouse? Not me. Every wall is wood rot, the roof leaks, you have to spray in your wrist to turn on the furnace. What's that? What's it look like? Black night down. What's wrong with a black nightgown? <laughs> Come on, you gotta be kidding. That's what a woman does when she's gonna be 40. She buys a black nightgown. What does a man do? Your age doesn't count. Only your birthdays count, huh? Men get interesting. Women get old. I don't mind you getting old. You always say the wrong thing.
guy's ear hurts. And then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, slowly they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the dolls and the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug with the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster went the little blue engine until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray! I'm sorry. For what? The fence? Storm windows? Japanese beetles? I'm sorry you're going to be forced. When did you take up jogging? Hi, honey. Morning. Good morning. What's up? Hmm. Oh, well, what is it? Grape juice, banana, and jelly beans. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ah, so that wasn't going to hurt. Well, that's where the shots were for. I'd rather have a pain. No, you wouldn't. I had Eli without a shot. I carried on like crazy, but I did it. I was proud of the, the NAT next to my name on the labor and delivery board. Oh, well, for your information, NAT does not mean natural. In doctor's code, it means not a trooper. Doctors are arrogant bastards. I feel that. Well, I'll think of something else. Not here. Not in the office. Why don't you tell me you had the afternoon off? And where are you going? No. Well, Emily is in a horse show. Kiss me. It's not professional. What if I die? This is minor. Sending it to the lab is just a precaution. Don't treat me like a patient. Are you jealous of Emily? Are you jealous of a seven-year-old? I can't tell you. You hold it like that one second. That's great. That's great. Amelia, come on, move inside. Okay, look at her. Look at him. Oh, that's great. Okay, now don't move, Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> you look adorable. You really do. That was so nice. Thank you, guys. Maybe get an album out of this.
thought you were supposed to be at a horse show. Yeah, well, there is something about horses. <laughs> oh, what do they remind you of? Gloria. So long, Al. See how nice it is when people are happy and married? Happy and married is a contradiction in terms. In seven years, have I ever made you unhappy? We're not married. That's why I'm not unhappy. I'm unhappy. Lynn's a bit tacky, don't you think? Stay in there all night? I have to get these off of the city tomorrow. Well, what's the big rush? You don't have a deadline? Well, if I get enough of my work out, maybe I'll get an assignment and I'll have a deadline. Oh. Guess she's not home. I told you we should have called first. Your mother shouldn't have to call. Ah. Hello, baby. Ah. Yes. 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 Come here, Cece. 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 Look how they caught you. We'll start with the kitchen. It's always the worst. Okay. Last I heard, this family don't eat meat. Growing boys need protein. Mm. Thanks for helping out today, Mrs. Hollinger. Sure. Ooh, nice flowers, Eli. How's it going? Good. Would you excuse me for a minute? Mm -hmm. Gus Morgan, please. Just a moment, please. Hello. Gus. I just arrived. I miss you already. I had my nurse leave a message from your machine at home. Why am I here at a boring conference, not with you? Um, I was just calling about the results of my test. If, if you're gonna, uh, give me the phone off to speak with you. No, thanks. Who's there? Nobody now. I'm calling from the teacher's lounge at the boys' school. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, what is she doing? What is she thinking? What is she wearing? Well, I'm, I'm all in green. And I'm thinking about your hands. Meet me here tonight. I've told Claire I'm having dinner at my sister's. I want you. I want you too. Can you meet me? Sure. We could have the whole night together. What do I tell Peter? It was, the agent really liked the photos that I sent her, uh, but she's she's leaving for Europe tomorrow. So I'm going to drive into the city and meet with her and, and show her the rest of my portfolio. That's great. Well, it's one of the biggest agencies, and if she decides to represent me, it, it could mean some uh, some real assignments again. Will you be late? Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll just spend the night at my mom's house and um, and then drive back early in the morning. Peter. I guess it's okay. We agreed I'd try to get my career launched again. I said it's okay.
Are your parents still alive? My mother. <laughs> the overseer? I try to go at least once a year. Mm -hmm. She wants to know Emily. Why did you marry Claire? <laughs> Why do you want to know all these things? I want to know everything about you. I went to medical school in Amsterdam. When I graduated, I came to the States on holiday. I met a woman. Didn't work out. Then I met Claire. So you married on the rebound? Now you know everything about me. Are you going to finish a cappuccino? What cappuccino? Peter thinks I stayed at my mother's house last night. He didn't try to call. I hate lying to Peter. We have to be, but lying to Peter, that's, that's a choice. I have to tell him. You heard him. I don't want to lose you. If you tell him, I'll lose you. First time I saw you, I wanted to take you to bed. Tell me this is different from your other affairs. This is different. Tell me. Tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me that there's no one like me. You're the most important thing in my life. Look inside. I can't read without my glasses. July 17th. The first time we made love. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <sighs> Eli, I forget his lunch. I have a gallbladder at 11. <laughs> we should shower. No. I don't want to wash off your fingerprints. I can't feel them anymore. It's like I could lose you. You can't lose me. I have to tell him. No. The first affair, you want to see whether you get struck by lightning. And when you don't, you're free. So now you're free. And we are in love. After you left, Gloria came for your green dress. I hope that was all right. I didn't want to lend it to her. Well, you should have told me that. Well, did you at least get an assignment? Promises? I called you at the house last night after midnight. You didn't answer. Oh, I was asleep. I didn't hear. I think you're trying to make Peter jealous. That's what I think.
tell her to lay off. She thinks something's going on. I keep telling her it's nothing. When you were a little girl and you lied, your left eyebrow would twitch. I'm almost 40, and it's nothing. Your left eyebrow's twitching. Not you, too. Somebody's fooling around. What are you talking about? Your mama found a black nightgown. Whenever there's a black nightgown, somebody's fooling around. She had a black nightgown. I remember it. Your papa had a woman. Who? Ask her. You're fired, Mamie. Oh, praise the Lord. It's you. You're the one. Not Peter. You're just like your father. And I'd like you to read about what was happening in Europe during that time. I like the French Revolution myself. I like those heads rolling down the street. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you. I uh, remember there is one fundamental difference between yesterday's revolutionaries and today's street gangs. No political base. Exactly. What? You won't believe this? Gloria, don't. You're kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, are you? Yes. But I have one more thing I want to say. Oh, don't. If nobody knows about it, it never happened. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. I believe in privacy. Privacy creates dignity. Your father committed the unforgivable. He told me. After that, nothing was ever the same. My marriage is different. The ability to lie is what separates man from the animals. Just exercise your God-given right. Lie. Laura was right to throw him out. He wants to stay here until he can find a place. Al shouldn't marry Gloria. Al doesn't want to marry Gloria. What's wrong with Gloria? Nothing's, nothing's wrong with Gloria. She spilled red wine on my new green dress. Oh, why'd you lend it to her? My mother let her take it. If Al takes the guest bedroom, your mother can't come back. You already said he could stay here, didn't you? When's he moving in? Tomorrow. Why well, even ask me that? I told him I had to ask you first. Well, great. Well, make me the bad guy. What's the matter with you? You don't know, do you? Know what? How could you not know? I'm having an affair. Cut it out. That's not funny. I mean it. What do you mean you mean it? It's true. With who? Gus Morgan. You went to bed with Gus Morgan? Yes. I don't believe you. Why would I lie about something like that? I don't know. You'd have to lie to do something like that, wouldn't you? So why wouldn't you lie if you hadn't done it? Well, that's why I'm telling you, because we promised we'd never lie to each other. Oh, swell. Sleeping around is OK, but lying is not. I'm not sleeping around. How many times did you sleep with him? What difference does it make? Once. Twice. I forgive you. I don't want to be forgiven. Well, what do you want? To keep sleeping with him. That's not an acceptable answer. And you think Al should marry Glory? You... You are my husband. You're my best possible husband. You're kind, you're funny, you're... you're... What is going on here? Just tell me, what is going on? I'm having an affair with Gus Morgan. Why? 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 That's what I said. Why? You never did anything like this. It's not like you to do anything like this. Why? Now! I didn't plan it. 
What do you want? Now, just tell me, what do you want? Mommy. My ear hurts. How's Eli's ear? I put some drops in. Are you coming in? I don't know where to sleep. With me? I want to. Give him up. I can't. I don't know how to handle this. I didn't put up the storm windows. And I'm sorry about the Japanese beetles. And I know that a professor doesn't earn a lot of money. And I know that two kids are hard. And, and you don't have enough help. The truth is, um, the truth is, I always try to give you what you want. So, uh, this is what you want. People live through wars. People live through earthquakes. I guess we'll live through this. I just... I just don't know how. Proposal of need. Electrical failure in the brain. Can't sleep. You're a liar. Okay, I'm a liar. You can't sleep. Maybe you should try your own bed. Mind your own business. Hello. Hi, Gloria. Oh, he hasn't come in yet. Yeah, I will. Did you ever watch married couples on the street? When they're young, they hold hands so they won't kill each other. And when they're old, they hold hands so they won't fall down. So, uh... You're seeing my wife, or am I mistaken? I'm seeing your wife. I want you to stop. We can't. She doesn't want a divorce. She told me that. Look, uh, why don't the two of you just go somewhere for a few days and just get this out of your system? It's not a virus. You don't know her. She's not logical. She can't even shop in a, in a place that's got more than one floor. She gets anxiety attacks and she snores. No, she doesn't. Right now, new and different beats very familiar, but do not make the mistake of thinking that you're a better man. 
Look, let's not make it any more difficult. Now, you don't get it, do you? Now, you weren't there when her father died and she cried for three days and three nights straight. You weren't around when she sold her first photograph and we blew the entire fee on caviar and champagne. You weren't in the delivery room when our boys were born. She does not love you. The last thing I had in mind for my birthday was to get into a tux and have dinner at the club. Who did you make love to on July 17th? You didn't answer my question. Lynn Hollinger? Still a little crooked. How long have you known? Two weeks. I bought your cufflinks at Sackwitz Jewelers. You don't cover your tracks as well as you used to. This one is different. Why? Because you don't usually go for country girls? Affairs happen in every marriage. This one's just another stop on the subway. You never rode the subway. You never held that against me. Are you saying that I married you for your money? Most marriages end up being arrangements of one kind or another. Ours just started out that way. Good evening, ma'am. Scotches of your hand. Now, you don't monitor my private life, and I won't monitor yours. Sorry. For what? You and I talked this over. Gustav and I talked this over. We're civilized people. And then you're for 18 years. You're not civilized. Neither are you. and you get to bed. I had the TV fixed. I didn't want it fixed. Look, pal, the 60s are gone. TV's all there is. So we didn't change the world. And our lives haven't turned out the way we thought they would. So what's the big deal? You know what your problem is? You aren't drunk enough. You're corrupt, you know that? A couple of weeks ago, I took Glory to Raphael's in the city. At a window table. As usual, Glory was looking at me. I was looking out the window. You want the rest? No. Give me the rest. From what I saw, I'd say your wife's getting it on with Gus Mark.
did you get Eli to go back to sleep? <sighs> After we looked under the bed, in the closet. No gorillas? Not a one. What are you doing in bed? It's my bed. You're my wife. But don't you know what that means anymore? Don't. Do you leave a light on with him? Take Samson, you keep the dogs. Boys can see the dogs when they come to visit you. I don't like that word. What word? Visit. You visit an invalid, you visit a zoo. Sorry? What about the chickens? What about the chickens? You're the one who wanted chickens. You don't expect me to take chickens to an apartment, do you? I didn't expect you to take my children to an apartment. Look, I'm trying to be fair here. I'm the one who did this. Why should you be the one to move? You want something to drink? Coffee, cream, sugar, two spoons. Uh, herb tea. The blue rocker in the kitchen, does it go or does it stay? It goes. Chamomile. Oh, nice. I'll do that. You don't live here anymore. I don't live here anymore. You want me to answer? What do you want? It's for you. Hello? You wipe that victory smile right off your face because I'm coming over there to kill you. Rocker stays. But you said it goes. Well, I meant it stays. Enjoy it. Thanks. Cold. So is Claire. Looking for Gus? Looking to kill me. When you get to your new place, you should have an enlisted number. Piece of pie? No. Yeah. Now with your fingers. Here you can use a fork. Perfect. 
Let me slow down. Quentin doesn't like us living together. No, he does, Emily. It'll just take time. Mm-mm. <sighs> Hello? Yes. I'll be right there. No. No. I live with the doctor and it's three in a bed. You, him, and the emergency patient. It's a rotten timing. Mm. Stay. Huh? Stay. No. Stop. This is what I do. Mm. Honestly, Gloria, I, I do love Peter in a certain way. He's just what I, what I have with Gus. I, I never knew existed. Well, you did a good job making me believe you were happy. Well, Peter was very good to me, and I, and I know that's supposed to be enough, but it isn't. I mean, it wasn't. In, in the back of my head, I had this longing. Al called me last night. I want you to know what it's like. I want you to know that there is something wonderful waiting for you. Al and Peter had a fight. Al wants to move back in. Don't. Oh, Lynn, you've never lived alone. You don't know what it's like. Don't settle. Never settle. You don't hear me, do you? You don't see me. You're too busy dressing up your adultery. I never expected to get moral judgment from you. Well, you can call what you're doing whatever you like, but it doesn't change the facts. Lynn, you had a perfectly good marriage. A kind man, a wonderful family. All the things you never had? Well, if I'd had them, you'd better believe I'd have valued them. Lynn, I've known you for a long time. You need therapy. You're in crisis. I'm not in crisis. I'm in love. Here, I'll see what's happening. What's going on? What the hell did I ever do to you? I wasn't happy. Do I have a right to be happy? Aren't you gonna talk to me either? I gotta drive into town, pick up some new pipe. <sighs> the pipe's broke. Well, if you push up the thermostat and use some oil, this wouldn't happen, you know. You always know the right thing to do. You got any more advice for me? Hand me that box with the pictures in it. I'll put it on the stairs before it's completely waterlogged. You want them? Come and get them. Come on, Peter. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Alone. They mean a lot to you, huh? All these memories. Another foot on the porch of my house, and I'll break your legs. I'll start with your legs, and I'll move to your head. That's enough! Let's go. I guess neither of us realized how tough this was going to be. If we want to make a real life, we're going to have to leave this town. Well, I, I can't leave this practice. And besides, Emily is here. And even if I could bring myself to leave, I, I don't know where or how. There's got to be enough money to support your families. Clara's her own money. Well, Emily's my responsibility, and so is Claire. Falling in love with you hasn't changed it. Does that mean Claire is going to control the rest of our lives? No more than Peter. I'm sorry. Why do we both keep saying I'm sorry? It's easier for me, because we're living with my children. And Claire, and Peter. How did we go from three in a bed to seven in a bathtub? <laughs> it's progress, I guess. Kiss me. Hold me. Don't answer I have to. Don't. Hello. Well, isn't there something you can do? All right. I'll be right there. I have to go. Emily won't stop crying. This may be too hard for both of us. When did you start drinking straight vodka? When you left. Did you mean what you said to Emily? Why don't you ask what you really want to ask? Why her? Don't. What does she do? What does she have? What does she make me feel? You're being deliberately cruel. Yes. Why? Because I don't want to come back. But I'm coming back. And I want you to know that I still love her.
She's out there again. I love you, too, Ella. I haven't been a very good mother lately, have I? That's all right. I love you, too, Quentin. Morgan here. You're answering your own phone. Nobody else is back from lunch. I I know I know I know I shouldn't be making this call, uh, but I can't call you at home. And I just had to hear your voice. It's your voice I miss more than anything. I I I I, I, I just want to know. How are you? Pretty good. Living without you is the hardest thing I've ever done. I wake up in the middle of the night and I reach for you. And I can't believe you're not there. And I hear your key in the front lock and I run to the door and you're not there either. I know you still love me. I wouldn't feel it if it weren't true. Say something. I miss you. I met you. It's Wednesday afternoon. I don't take Wednesdays off anymore. <laughs> yeah. 
Here in Carroll County, heavy showers will continue on and off through the night. And now stay tuned for 30 minutes of uninterrupted music. temporary because he's coming back to me. You're crazy. Go away. Do you think that that's going to do it? That all you have to do is say, go away and I'm going to disappear? Oh, oh, my dearest Lynn, my first and only love. How did this happen? I only intended to make love and run, but I can't. And now I need to hold you and kiss you and have you next to me all the time. I can't even remember what I once had with I'm consumed by what you make me feel. I love you, Gus. Stay away from my wife. You love me. Stay out of my life. Touch me. Kiss me. Make love to me. Listen to me. No! no! In medical school, the first time you cut me to a course, you tell yourself I don't belong here. But you've made a commitment. I don't know what you're saying. What are you saying? I'm staying in my marriage. No! Don't call me. Don't write me. <laughs> Don't wait for me. Goodbye, Lily. Oh, Gus! Please, Gus! how long you and Peter were married. Mrs. Hollinger, I have to take a history. 16 years. And how old are your children? Six and ten. Will you be going back there? I couldn't think about him without my heart pounding. I'd never had a lover. I was afraid. I'd, I'd always said, wait. But people wait are in the cemetery. I told myself, I told myself, I just make love to him once. I have to know what it feels like. All the promises you make to yourself that you can't keep. And now you want a history. I remember who I was before I knew him. This is terrible. Most women have a bout with depression at least once in their lives. Lynn is lucky. She knows she needs help. She's chosen not to tough it out alone. Lynn is my only child. She's all I've got left since my husband died. I've had trouble sleeping since he died. 
You'd think I'd be used to it after, after 17 years. She should just put her mistake behind her. All she has to do is call Peter and tell him she's sorry and never speak of it again. That's the important thing. Never speak of it again. My boyfriend brought me this polish on Sunday. They'd take it away if they knew that I had it. It's the wrong color, but at least it's something. So he's got another girlfriend now. Big news. Whoever he is, he's always got another girlfriend. Well, everyone's looking for someone to blame. You know, either it's me or it's Peter. Well, I'm not, I'm not hanging Peter for my crime. You came here voluntarily. You're not on trial. Yeah, well, I, I know how it works here. All I have to do is show a little bit of remorse, and I'll be declared healthy. Why, well, I don't feel any remorse. Then maybe you can tell me what you do feel. I feel cold. I'm so cold I could freeze to death. You know, if you're a married woman and you lose a husband, society has compassion for your grief. But you're a married woman, and what you've lost is a married lover. And in a place like Carroll County, you're not entitled to your grief. Society thinks you deserve your pain. And somewhere inside of you, I suspect you agree. I know. Hello. 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 On the following Wednesday. Can't believe you didn't bring the boys. You know how much I want to see them. It made sense to me to see how you were first. Oh, what did you expect? A raving maniac. I don't know what the hell to expect from you anymore. You uproot the kids, you take them through hell. At least you had the sense to put yourself where you belong. Oh, don't. You're not being fair. Fair? You call what you did being fair. Men do it all the time with no consequence. I was always you. grateful for you. You know that. I was, too. Until Gus. I don't want to hear his name. We had a good life. You destroyed it. All for a man who left you. Yeah, okay. Okay, you're a great guy. I got what I deserved. There's a poem by Emily Dickinson. For each ecstatic instant, we must an anguish pay in keen and quivering ratio to the ecstasy. Why did you come here? I expected you to apologize. I'm sorry for the pain I caused. But you're not sorry you did it. I want to see my kids. I need to see my kids. I'll bring them next Sunday. Be my mother. You don't like that, do you? This book says the midlife crisis is denial of the aging process. Nobody talks English around here. Five minutes of your time, Mrs. Hollinger. How's it going? Peter says that uh, what happened with me and Gus was just my acting out. 
never been sure what that phrase means, but it does seem to imply that you were a bad girl. Did you ever read Anna Karenina? She was a married woman who had an affair. She threw herself under a train. It was, what, uh, 1875. Exactly. Today, you get to live. I wear the same jacket every day. Do I? I guess I do. Ever since my wife died, I get up every morning and I put on what I wore the night before. Unless somebody like you reminds me not to. I'm sorry about your wife. Loss is hell. Any kind of loss. Death. Divorce. Dissolution of love. Do you live alone? With my two kids. It's tough. But it can be done. I don't want to do it. What's your alternative? Well, it doesn't matter that I'm still in love with Gus. That, that'll pass, won't it? Well, even if it doesn't, my children need a father. Do you think I can salvage my marriage? Please, Peter. This is so hard. Help me. I got caught up in, in the excitement of someone new. I, I was looking for something that felt vital and, and important. I, I didn't want to think about being 40. I, I, I made an agreement with myself. I thought I could separate sex and love. I, I thought I could see to it that nobody got hurt. I'm sorry, Peter. I tell you now, I'm sorry. I, I, I want that to be enough. I hope that's enough. I only want to be with you. I, I, I want to come home. You can't. Some things you can't undo. There's somebody else. We don't know anyone else. Who? Gloria. Warm is better than cold. morning it was like someone put the shades down on all the windows and I was living in a half flight. I didn't know what was happening to me but there was something that was trying to get out. I won't live without passion. I can't. I can't. I can't anymore. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. Go tell Aunt Rhody. The old gray goose is dead. What are you reading? Poetry. Died in the mill pond. She died in 
and the mailbox. She died in the mailbox. Dan. My mother used to sing that to me before she split. Do you know what? Guess. The goslings are crying. The goslings are crying. Five minutes of your time, Mrs. Ollinger? I signed your walking papers. I'm scared. That's the first sign of being normal. Well, fear or depression, that's the choice. Everybody has a birthright not to be miserable all the time. So what we do around here is turn anguish into simple, ordinary, everyday distress. And you get to take it from there. Remember Mike Levine? No. Your third year in high school, he was crazy about you? You wouldn't give him the time of day? Oh, yeah. He had funny ears. He married Sherry Porter. I heard he got a divorce. I can't believe you're thinking what you're thinking. I'm not. Well, anyway, you're over him. No, I'm not. Of course you are. No, it's going to take a long time. I don't know how long. Look, look at you. It took you 17 years. How can you make such a comparison? Your father didn't leave me. He died. You know that woman? That Mimi talked about. Did Dad love her? How can you ask me that? Who was she? I told you I don't know. I didn't want to know. I told him, don't tell me anything. I don't want to know. A woman. That's all. What happened after that? Nothing. Nothing. We always had twin beds. Now, I know you're judging me. Every generation thinks they can do it better, but they can't. Nobody can, because it's hard. Marriage is hard. Being alone is hard. Raising children is hard. And there is no way to do any of it right. Come on. We're out of here. Let me know if Eli has any nightmares.
In here, Gloria. On the phone, you said this was going to be okay. Yeah, well, it has to be. So I'm trusting it's going to be. It's about the boys. They're good kids. Yeah, no, not all the time. And Peter's a good father. But not all the time. You're a good mother. Yeah, not all the time. That's why it's important to keep the lines of communication open between all of us. It's what's best for Quentin and Eli. I thought you'd be mad at me. Yeah, I was. I am. But I'm not going to stop there. Do you think we could ever be friends again? I don't know. I didn't set out to do this. I went to the house looking for Al. I didn't know he'd moved out. and I was in pretty bad shape, and so was Peter, and we ended up in bed. I really don't know how it happened. I know how it happens. You've changed. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Peter missed the deadline for his Fulbright. He always does. You want a glass of milk? No. I want some answers to some questions. Okay. How did Samson have babies? Samson died. And I didn't want to upset Eli, so I bought another hamster. That was a dumb move, replacing Samson with a pregnant hamster. Well, sometimes just because someone's grown up doesn't necessarily make them smart. And that's for sure. I know you're mad at me. I'm not through with my questions. Okay. I want to know why you did what you did. I want to know where you went when you went away. And I want to know what happened there. I want to answer questions. I, I really do. But I can't right now. Because you think I won't understand? Well, no, because I, I don't really understand it all yet. Then you flipped out and they put you away, right? No, honey, no. The, the decision was mine. The, if, I, if, I, if I fell and I broke my leg, I, I would go to the hospital. But it wasn't my leg. It, it was my heart that got broken. I love you so much. If, if I hurt you, I am so sorry. I missed you. So did Eli. Mostly Eli. He probably thought it was all his fault, didn't he? Yeah, he thought you were going to divorce us, too. But I set him straight. Oh, good. Come here. We're in this for life. You, me, and Eli. Yeah.
hard. We got another one here. Oh, thank you. Oh, is that nice? Oh. I'm too big for a balloon. I'm not. <laughs> Thanks. That hand okay? Yeah. Your face looks great. When we get home, I'm gonna do that to you. No. Oh. I've got some lashes that look wonderful. Hey, <laughs> Mom. Stay tuned. Next on True Entertainment, my name is Bill W. Alternatively on True Movies 1, Mussolini and I, Part 1. And on True Movies 2, The Great Escape 2, The Untold Story, Part 2.